Welcome to this very important video where you and me will talk about repentance. We want to do this one more time. We did a video about repentance short time ago, some days ago, and the response was very, very positive, but also very, very shocking because yeah. there was also some negative response where we just need to shake our head and mm. think what is happening today? How people have misunderstood what repentance truly is. Mm. So we were supposed to talk about grace and what grace is, but we will leave that to next time. Yeah. We want to talk about repentance. Um, what is repentance in that way that how do repentance and works go together? And we will answer some question like, what do you mean that God repented? The response we got on the last teaching, uh, what do you think about that? I have to say I was actually really shocking. And I did not know that it was that people had such kind of big issue when it comes to repentance. Mm -hmm. We just clearly we just uh, explain what we read in the Bible. We most of the response was good, but there was yeah. some people who was very hostile against repentance from sin, yeah. where they were saying things like, "No, no, 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 you are speaking works, not works. It's work, work, works, and we are saved by grace." And other people say, "No, no, no, you are preaching a wrong gospel. We are we are under the gospel of Paul, the gospel of grace." And some people come in like, "No, repentance have nothing to do with sin because God repented, mm -hmm. and God did not need to repent for sin." And we are shocked, so we want to do a video here where we go even deeper in repentance mm -hmm. and talk what it is and to answer some of those uh, questions or those comments that is out there. Yeah. Some of the comments, one comments we got, can you read that? Yeah, one of the comments we got uh, responding from our, with our video, he said here, Repentance in original Bible language is metanoia, changing of your mind. And we, we agree it's with that. true. That yeah. was what we talked about. In other words, change your mind towards Jesus, not repenting from sinning. Because if you repent from sinning, you will keep sinning. Yeah. What, what, why do he say something like that? Because in his mindset, if you do works, works is also a kind of sin. Mm. And if you repent from sin, you are sinning by doing works. Yeah. It, it just don't make sense. And you who wrote this comment and some of the other comments we are going to go to, I really hope you see this video. Mm. Because some of you to say very uh, love it, love, <laughs> loving, you are deceived. Yeah. You are really deceived and you, under, you have got a wrong understanding of what the gospel is. Mm. One of the comments we will spend some time on is one guy he wrote here. Repentance simply means change your mind. And we agree in that part. Yes. We talked about that last time. But then he continued not with capital letters, not to turn from sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then if you are reading a King James Bible, you will see that the most repentant person in scriptures is God. And then he quote different scriptures from the Bible where God, he repented or changed his mind. And I want to say to you who wrote this comment, you are also deceived. <laughs> of course, we need to believe in Christ, but we also need to turn away from sin. And yes, the word repentance mean change your mind. And it's, it don't have in every context to have to do with sin. Mm. In God's case, it did not have to do with sin, but God changed his minds when he he for them in the beginning of Genesis chapter 6, I think, before the, the, the flood. He saw people's evil deeds and he changed his mind that he had created them. Yeah. And then he sent the flood. So there God changed his mind. He repented, but not from sin, because God cannot repent for no. sin. Like in context, you always have to see it in context. If my daughter Simone, she come to me and say, Daddy, I want an ice cream. I want an ice cream. I want an ice cream. I say, no, no, no. You got an ice cream yesterday. You're not going to go get ice cream today. What happened then? Then she helped clean up in the kitchen and she's so nice. So I said, Simone, you can get your ice cream. 
What did I do there? I repented. Mm-hmm. I made you know, I changed my mind. Yeah. So in that context, it has nothing to do with sin. But in most contexts in the Bible, it has to do with sin. Mm-hmm. When Jesus said, when you hang, bring you to fall, cut it off, throw it away. Yeah. When your eyes plug it off. Mm-hmm. He's talking about with the women who, women who are caught in adultery, go and sin no more. Mm-hmm. So of course it has to do with sin. And, and, and this is the thing, I want to come with two examples here. How important it is to always have context, context, context. And many people said enough today, liberal Christianity built on verses alone, verses taken out of context. Mm. For example, Ephesians 2, mm. hey, that is one who always come. Uh, because that is also the next thing this person wrote right here. He writes here, in fact, Jesus said, repent and believe the gospel. It would make no sense that that means to turn away from sin, mm-hmm. as that word that that would require keeping the law, and we know that that is works. It don't make sense what he's saying. Mm. Clearly, the Bible says that we are justified before God by faith and not by works. Mm. So he now says that repentance is works. Mm. And therefore, when he, if, repent for sin in his works. And then he quote the famous words, I always come. By grace you are saved through faith, and it's not yourself. It's a gift from God, not of works, lest any man would boast. But you have to understand, when the Bible here says, by grace you are saved through faith, is not of yourself, is a gift from God, not of works. Mm. Not our deeds who save us, we all agree with yes. this. And we're going to talk about the grace next time. But what he's talking about here is <coughs> works by the law. Mm. We need to repent. Repent, turn away from sin, is part of being saved. Yes is our response to the gospel. We believe and we get baptized. We repent and we get baptized. We need to respond to the gospel, to the free, the gospel Jesus has given to us. And we're going to talk about grace next time. Yeah. But if you read in context, Paul in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 did not talk about works here in context as works is mm. repentance. He's talking about works in context of works by the law, the law Moses came with. You are not saved by faith plus keeping the law of Moses. It's faith in Jesus Christ. Yes. And that faith leads to repentance. That faith leads to good works. God had beforehand prepared for us to walk in. Mm. And if you take context here, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, the same, a few verses before, he said here that you who were dead in your trespasses and sins, which you once walked, when you walked as sons at disobedience, but now we have put on the uh, given up the whole life and so yeah. on. So and he continued in <coughs> verse 17, uh, chapter 4. Now we no longer walk like the Gentiles. Now we have a new heart. Then he was twenty. Now we what we have learned in Christ, and that is to put off the old life. Yes. He's talking about put off the falsehoods. He's talking about no longer steal. He's talking about living a righteous life. He's talking about don't greet the Holy Spirit. He's talking about holiness. He's talking about love. He's talking about works, 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 according to that guy. Yeah. But he's not talking about works by the law, by keeping the law. He's talking about works in the sense of obedience, yes. in sense of repentance, mm. in sense of turning away. Yeah. Uh, one more thing you can add mm. here. Uh, Galatians is the same. People have quoted Galatians. I've, I've often heard when I said to people, you have to repent for your sins. You have to live a holy life. This is what God commands for us. Then people have quoted Galatians in that context and say, yeah, but Galatians, Paul is saying in Galatians, 
uh, three uh, foolish Galatians who have bewitched you. And then he said that you receive the spirit by works. Here is added by works by the law. That is good. Or by here in, in faith. But it, again, Paul, when he wrote this to Galatians and warned them about the works, he was talking about the works by the law he was talking about keeping the law to get saved he was talking about circumcision mm. he was ne he did never talk about repentance and turn away from sin he did never talk about baptism why because read context read context read whole letters not only john words there in this to the same people where he's warning them against the law keeping the law going under the law like works by the law in the same letter he says here that in jesus christ you are all the sons of god through faith mm? who he's talking with and when did that happen they became the sons of god through faith next verse chapter 3 27 for as many as you who were baptized to christ have put on Christ. Mm. So Paul is there talking about somebody who have repented, yeah. who have come to faith, who have put on Christ when they got baptized to Christ. Yeah. He reminds them when you put got baptized to Christ, you put on Christ. And then he wants them again works, but not works like repentance, mm. not works like baptism. Of course, Paul is not talking about baptism. It don't make sense. So yeah. repentance is so clear if you just read it in context. Yeah. The same letter he were, he talked in words uh, chapter five. And remember, there was no chapters and verses when he wrote the letter. He said, verse uh, 21, I warned you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things would not inherit the kingdom of God. And what was such things he was talking about? That was sexual immorality. There were impurity, idolatry, sorcery, jealousy, anger, strife, and a lot of other things work by the flesh. Yeah. He said, Paul, if you do those things, you're not going to inherit the kingdom of God. So when people quote Ephesians 2, 8 or Galatians and use scripture against holiness, mm. against repentance, against works by obedience, mm. they are quoting scripture the same way Satan quoted scripture when he tempted Jesus. Totally out of context. Yeah. Now you have to say something. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, first of all, I just want to start to mention about works and obedience. When we talk about, for example, obedience, we do not talk about works of the law. We talk about obedience to Jesus' words. But mm -hmm. I have to say, I'm sorry to say this, but many of those comments writing against us where they interpret as repentance or baptism or holiness as works and not obedience and the problem is they, they push everything obedience away but in this we do not talk about works of the law we talk about obedience of faith what is faith that is really important to know what is faith faith is not only just hearing the word but hearing the word and doers of the word mm. like for example try to imagine james chapter 2 says, says this faith without works is dead Mm. Now, it sounds like that James is almost contradicting what Paul, Paul is saying, saying, but that they do not contradict. As, as, he, as Torben said, look in the context. What Paul is talking about works in, for example, Galatians, was the problem was there the works of the law of Moses. But when James talks about works in, James, in the James letter, he talks about works of faith. Obedience. Which, produce obedience it means obedience yeah. that is what it's about it does not contradict to each other so so we say like yeah. that works we're not talking about faith plus keeping the law no. but faith without obedience or works yeah. are dead yeah I just want to read, read some few scriptures. Try to imagine in Matthew chapter 3 verse 8 John the Baptist say to people therefore produce fruits that proves your repentance. In another word, 
show it by your action mm. that you are truly repenting that's what he is actually saying another scripture acts chapter 26 verse 19 to 20 paul now this is paul who says this to king agrippa i was not disobedient to the vision from heaven first to those in damascus then those in jerusalem and, and in all judea and then to the gentiles i preach that they should repent and turn to god and demonstrate their repentance by their deeds yeah or you can say works again works it, it, action it, obedience yeah so the only way you can prove you have repented yeah. is by your deeds by your deeds the only way you can Proof that you have faith yeah. is by your obedience. Yes. Like Abraham, when he was willing to offer his son Isaac, God there said, now I know mm -hmm. that you fear me. Yeah. He did not know it before, but he saw his response. He saw his faith. Mm -hmm. And that is the thing. We, we have, to, I, I talked about faith in some of the videos a short time ago, and I encourage you to go in and see what faith is. Mm -hmm. It's two videos I did about faith. Because we had a Greek understanding and mindset where we think you can believe one thing, yeah. and then you can do something else. Yeah. That is a Greek mindset. Mm -hmm. That is a, not a biblical. Mm -hmm. Faith is obedience. Faith is action. Faith is works if you can say it like that mm -hmm. but we we don't get when we talk about grace we make it very very clear that yes we need to obey but we don't say hey it's my obedience that saved me no mm -hmm. it was jesus christ yes. and his grace yes. is by grace mm -hmm. through faith mm -hmm. And you come with an example about yeah, faith and yeah. that. Like, try to imagine, like when we talk about faith and we talk about as faith and repentance goes hand by hand, how does that look? Like try to imagine, let's say now if you and me, me and Torb, we go out, take a walk. And as we take a walk, we should cross over the road. And when we cross our road, I take the first step. And when I take the first step, Torb will start to suddenly see a truck is coming. And Torben start to shout out to me, Jan, watch out, a truck is coming. Now, what do I do? <laughs> like, do I stand in the middle of the road and start to argue with myself? Well, what, what, the, what does Torben mean, a truck is coming? No, I take that action of by trusting in his word, what he's saying to step away from the road. Now, when I have stepped away from the road, would I say, look, I am saved by works. I am saved by works because or I saved by myself. Saved by myself because no, it was I took me the action. It was, it was because me. He got I saved. got saved because I trust in his word by taking that action. The only way if we have really faith in a person, it always automatically mm. produce action. So when Jesus say repent, turn away from your sins. Yes. When Jesus say get baptized, we do it mm -hmm. and because of our action yeah we get saved yes we experience salvation but we will never boast and say oh oh it, it was because of me i got saved no 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 it was only because of him yes. and that is what we're going to talk more about in next teaching where we talk about grace and the misunderstanding about grace but let's let's keep it up here yeah uh, and uh, repentance is change your mind that is correct mm -hmm. god changed his mind he repented we will often also repent we have nothing to do with sin mm -hmm. but god wants us also to repent when it had to do with sin like we need to change our mind when it comes to idolatry mm -hmm. when it comes to sexual immorality when it comes to to speaking bad yeah. when it comes to what we look at what we do what we say when it comes to love our neighbor when mm -hmm. it comes to how we use our life our money everything in all aspects of life we need to change our mind change our actions we need to repent we need to be holy as god he's mm -hmm. holy yeah. that have nothing to do with works by the law no. that have to do with salvation yeah can have to do with repentance that have it to do with faith that have to do with obedience that have to do with all of it and the truth is god sees our works yeah revelation when jesus talked about to the seven churches he said, I see your works, 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 I see your works. 
And God is going to judge us for our works, not our heart's attention mm. on our oh in, yeah he, he did not live he live in sin his whole life but inside he was different no no god see our action but it's not works by the law is a change of heart that lead to obedience yeah. that lead to things so it's not a stressful oh now i have to work 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 no mm. it's, a, it's god's mercy grace we are safe and we have by God's grace, got a new heart and a new life, and we love Jesus, and of course we obey Him. If you love me, you will keep my command. This yeah. is what Jesus says. Yeah. Say something then. Yeah. I just want to say, like, again, change of minds, metanoia, that's what repentance means, and that is true. But it really goes hand by hand with turning away from sin. Like, change of mind, it starts here. But I would just want to say, if it just starts here but it doesn't go deep in the heart there which is produce action i'm sorry to say this but it would not change it would not mm. save anything mm. like try to imagine jesus said many people say lord lord but your heart is far away from me and that's why i also have seen many people how they live and proclaim they believe in jesus here but their heart is so far away from him it's all about obedience in a relationship. Jesus also said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Let's, we end up with one verse. Mm. Can we read Jude? Jude? Yeah. In Jude chapter 1 verse 4, there he says, I say this because some ungodly people have wormed their ways into your churches, saying that God's marvelous grace allows us to live immoral lives, the condemnation of such people was recorded long ago for they have denied our only master and lord jesus christ this is what is happening in the church today when we talk about the whole grace teaching and, yeah. and so on that there's people in the church it, it already happened that time when jude wrote this that there's people in the church who are preaching that God's grace mm. somehow allow people to live an immoral life. Mm. And then we read that they have denied our only Lord Jesus Christ mm. and Savior Jesus Christ. They have denied him. But remember, they're still in church. Yeah. They are maybe lifting their hands and praising. And if you ask them, they don't deny him by their words, mm. but they deny him by their actions. Action. And this is what I've seen to many who, and some of those people who have commented some of this video, this video we just did, and the people out there, they don't deny Jesus Christ by their words, but deny him by their action, yeah. by their works. So don't be one of those who deny Jesus, uh, live in holiness, obey him. God bless you. Bye-bye.